Hey YouTube, I'm doing this video to demonstrate a limitation that I found a lot of people aren't fully aware of when they're using a Ludlum Model 44-2 Gamma Scintillator Probe. This is a detector that's found in a lot of these Ludlum response kits that I see a lot of hazmat teams and uh, first responders have. They usually will include or often include a Model 133 series high range gamma detector. Uh, sometimes this is called a peanut probe. A uh, Frisker probe or a uh, Model 44-9 pancake probe. And then a regular dose rate probe, usually the Model 44-38 or hot dog probe. But specifically, I'm going to be talking about this probe. And one of the things that we see with that is that its range is really limited to about 50 millirem per hour when hooked to a digital rate meter like this. A lot of people don't realize that because this rate meter is capable of displaying and will auto range up to 9,999R per hour. But if I have this probe attached, it's really only good to about 50 millirem per hour. If we look at the manual for the Model 44-2 Gamma Scintillator on page three, it talks about dead time and it says that the dead time typically li limits linear range to five MR per hour with the non-corrected measurements. And that means with an analog rate meter like the Ludlum Model 3 or the Model 14C, but it can go up to 50 MR per hour if we have electronics that are equipped with dead time correction. That would be most of your rate meters that we see in these Ludlum response kits like the Model 2241 series rate meters. All right, so to demonstrate this, what I've done is I have set up a little experiment here so I have a 44-2 probe sitting on top of a Ludlum 44-38 probe, the hot dog probe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a fairly hot cesium-137 source in. And these should read pretty much the same until I get about to that 50 millirem per hour range. It'll be about a foot away. And what we'll see is the response will change to where this one should give us our, you know, pretty true accurate dose rate. And this one should start to act up once we get to that 50 millirem per hour or above that 50 millirem per hour range. And so I have two detectors or the meter set up so that we can see the readout, the 44-38 on the right and the 44-2 on the left. And there are the probes down there. And then for my own safety, I guess, or so I can keep track of what the dose rate is where I'm at, I have an ion chamber set up uh, behind the tripod where I'll be filming from. All right, I've got a source out. I've got a pretty toasty little cesium-137 source on the end of this broomstick. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll bring it in and we get about a foot away and that's where we're gonna get to about that 50 millirem per hour point. And you'll see that both of these detectors, again, they're both calibrated to cesium. So they're gonna read very similar. But as I move in from this point forward, this is where we should start to see the difference in the display of these two detectors. Now I'm about six inches away. And what you see here is where you could kind of run into a problem. I'm in a 160 millirem per hour field and my Ludlum 44-2 detector is only telling me it's a little over 80 millirem per hour. And it gets even worse as we start to move in closer. Now we're about three inches away. Our, our, our Dose rate's going down on the 44-2, around 40 millirem per hour, and we're up almost to one R per hour on the uh, model 44-38. And as I come in even closer, and I get right up close, maybe an inch or so away from that 44-2, you can see it's telling me it's only two MR per hour, but I'm, what does it say, 20 R per hour, on the other detector. So obviously this, this is a real problem and the um, actual dose rate's gonna be different because similar to the 44.2, the 44.38 also has an upper limit and with dead time correction, that's about 500 MR per hour. So it's really only, it's under, under uh, reporting what the actual dose rate is as well. So again, that's just something I wanted to point out here, something to keep in mind. I love the 44-2 detector. I use it all the time. I have many of them, but it's just something you need to know about is that limitation in those upper dose rate uh, areas.